In today's HealthCast, we're taking a closer look at one of the most common genetic disorders affecting more than a half a million Americans out there. It's called polycystic kidney disease, and it affects men and women equally and is the fourth leading cause of kidney failure. From an early age, Jeffrey Pupo knew he was at risk for polycystic kidney disease, a condition that affected both his mother and his grandfather. Genetic testing some 20 years ago revealed he too had the disease. At the time I was 32, I was always young and healthy in shape, and it was monitored, uh, but prior to that it was kind of out of sight, out of mind. It never came up, uh, but it was something that, oh, it's never going to happen to me. Dr. Shane Bobart, a nephrologist with Cleveland Clinic Weston, says the disease, which leads to an overgrowth of cysts in the kidneys, is typically diagnosed through imaging. Um, we look at cysts in the kidneys using either a kidney ultrasound, CT scan, or MRI. And when the diagnosis is in question, genetic testing can be done because there are several genes that have been identified that are causative. While polycystic kidney disease can be managed for some time, there is no cure, and ultimately patients will face the need for either dialysis or, in some cases, a kidney transplant. If the cysts get big enough, they can cause discomfort, pain, they can rupture, you can see blood in the urine, you can often get things like kidney stones. Ultimately, Jeffrey was matched with a living donor and underwent a transplant in the summer of 2020. It's a gift he celebrates not just during the holidays, but every day of the year. My physical and mental focus is as good as, if not better, than 32 than when I was diagnosed. In regards to the spiritual, it's oh my God. Uh, in 2020, the year of COVID, a stranger gave me life. That's a pretty good gift. Newer medications are helping to slow down the progression of the disease, allowing patients more time before needing to have this kind of invasive therapy or surgery.